Hi everybody, it's Kira from Plaid. Welcome back to our Walmart new product spotlight. This week we're going to be sharing our brand new products and colors that are new for 2022 that are available at your local Walmart and Walmart.com. So we're so excited. Yesterday we talked about some brand new specialty products that we had, which was our Folk Art Glitterific Pop. We talked about brand new beautiful pastel colors with our color shift and we even showed Dragonfly. So we also talked about folk art dots yesterday. So you wanna definitely check those out here right on Facebook or they're on our YouTube channel if you wanna go back and view those later. So today we're talking all about Waverly Inspirations. So Waverly Inspirations chalk is a ultra matte chalk paint, which is ideal for furniture and home decor. It is one of the easiest products to re, um, reimagine and restore your decor. So this is whether you are doing an old piece of furniture that you have, whether you have a flea market find, um, whether you're thrifting, it's a great way to upcycle. We've got Kirsten here in the studio, so she's gonna walk you through the brand new colors for our Waverly Inspirations Chalk. She's gonna show you some great tips and techniques. I also have the iPad here, so if you have any questions while we're live, please don't hesitate to ask. We'd love to chat with you. And again, you're gonna be able to go back and watch and replay this. Products are all available at your local Walmart, so you wanna check out there and also on walmart.com. So I wanna talk just a little bit more about the Waverly Inspirations Chalk before Kirsten starts crafting. So Waverly Inspir Inspirations Chalk is an ultra matte chalk paint that is, um, it self levels. You don't need, it's one step. So you don't need to prep your piece of furniture a lot. So you don't need to use any harsh chemicals or paint strippers or thinners or tools, you can just start with a clean, dry surface. So if you have something that, you know, has been sitting in a garage or you've thrifted, just you wanna wipe it down with some warm soap, soap and water and you wanna dry it off real well and then you're ready to go. It's self-leveling, so it makes it really easy when you brush it on. And we even have a tool, a brush, that was designed to use with the Waverly Inspirations chalk. So no prep, one step, you can also layer and distress this. So that means you can layer color, take sandpaper and knock it back and you're gonna get that beautiful distressed look. It comes in a beautiful ray of colors. I keep holding this bottle like right here. A beautiful range of colors that coordinates with Waverly Inspiration fabrics. So it really is the full line for home decor. So whether you're using it on a piece of furniture, you're reupholstering, you're creating pillows or curtains, um, it really does match. So we make it really easy for you. It comes in a variety of sizes, so not only furniture, but it's great for candlesticks, for picture frames. You can do a ton of different surfaces. You can put it on mason jars. Um, like I said, so many different things. We have an eight ounce, a two ounce, and a 16 ounce. So again, depending on the size of your project, we've got a lot of great variety, and the colors are so beautiful. Again, inspired by all that beautiful Waverly Inspirations fabric. We also have some fun surfaces that I just want to show you since we're talking all about Walmart, Walmart this week. We have some raw wood surfaces and these are brand new to us and we're going to be talking about them later this week and show you some more details in the whole line. But this is just a great welcome sign. Again, this is, comes ready, it's prepped, ready to craft. So it's already sanded, it's very smooth. You can use it with a range of all of our products, but it's great for Waverly Inspirations chalk. So I want to show you, this is before and then this is what we did just with that chalk paint. And this is a great example of the beautiful range of colors and also how you can layer and distress. So you see, we painted this light blue, which is pool blue, and we put this darker blue on top and then sanded it to give it that worn distress look. So again, great for home decor, great for gifts, great way to personalize your space. So. Um, I can't say enough great things about chalk, so Kirsten's going to show you. And if you have any questions, let us know while we're live. Hi, Kirsten. It's your turn. Hey, every <laughs> hey everyone. Kira, you gave all of the great um, information for Waverly Inspiration Chalk Paint. It is truly one of my all-time favorite paints for all of the reasons that Kira said. So let me show you. I have got... Oh, the six new colors are absolutely beautiful. We have a full line of the basics. We've got the whites and the grays and the blacks, a beautiful color palette that's already been at Walmart at your local store. But look at these six new colors. I kind of want to show them together because Kira had mentioned a million times how beautiful they coordinate, 
how beautiful they go together. And I just want to show you guys this. This project that we have right here in the studio, this is combining the new Waverly Inspiration chalk colors and gorgeous fabric. I know Kira mentioned it, but just the hard, the hard stuff of finding your fabric, knowing if the color is right for your fabric, if it's going to all come together and coordinate, it is for sure because we have made sure. We've made sure that whatever print, Waverly fabric, whether it's fun and modern, vintage and floral, or just a really cute basic pattern, it all works beautifully with the new colors and the existing colors. So I just really want you guys to see how great, like these six colors together is actually one of my favorite, favorite groupings of new colors. Done, there's your whole house. I know, right? It is, it <laughs> you totally can use them all is. Together. So Lights and darks, they work together perfectly. And just how beautiful they are with, with the fabric. And just a little tip, I wanna show you guys this because we're not demoing this today. But for all of you crafters, Mod Podge works great with Waverly chalk paint. So what we did here is we did all of the basic chalk finishes that Kira said. We, we didn't prime, we painted, we distressed, and then using our favorite Waverly fabric and just some Mod Podge, whether you like matte or satin, you allow that to add fabric or pattern to a wood surface or to a tray or even to a picture frame, adding adding fabric pattern is such a fun way to accent your chalk, your chalk colors. Okay, so with that, Kira had mentioned the Waverly brush. This brush, Waverly chalk brush, was designed to be perfect for furniture and for the matte chalk finish. You can see the way the bristles are, just the way you hold the brush. It is perfect for applying chalk paint to all of your home decor projects. All right, so I'm going to scoot this beautiful color palette. And Kirsten, we have a question, and I oh, want to okay. answer this because some other people that are watching um, may want to know. So Amy asked, what's the difference between chalkboard paint and chalk? We get that all the time. Yeah. So chalkboard paint is used to create a chalkboard. What you think of when you think of school and in your kitchen doing a to-do list for your kids, that's chalkboard paint. So it allows you to put chalk on, chalk sticks, chalk pencils, um, and then erase it, just like you would in school. Chalk paint is totally different. So the formula was designed, and Kira had mentioned it, so that you can redo furniture, frames, um, metal, wood, something that's varnished or base coated, so that you can redo that without sanding, stripping, taking off the finish, it allows you to do that just by dusting it and making sure it's a, it's a clean, dry surface. So chalk is ultra matte, and the reason I think we say chalk, it's ultra matte, and it sands a really fine powder that may resemble chalk. Maybe that's where the name came from. <laughs> I'm making that up because I don't know. But when you distress it, which I'll show you all, all those techniques today, it sands to a really ultra chalk finish that you can just dust off. Um, and that allows you to have so much um, different techniques, different looks, and just so many different ways to distress with chalk paint. Yep, that's yeah. great. And mentioning the it dries to a chalky powder that, um, I don't remember if I said this in the beginning, but it is non-toxic. So we talked about not needing to have any special chemical um, to take off a finish of a piece of furniture that right. you want to redo or revamp. But it's also non-toxic, and it's made right here in the USA. So that's you know something we're very proud of, and we love that fact that it is. There's no odor, so it's not something that you need to clear your house out or let it air out after you paint it. Or, you know, you could paint this right in your living room. Just throw down a drop cloth, paint yep. it. You know, before it's dry, it cleans up easy with soap and water. Um, it's not something you need to worry about having around your family, which is amazing. Absolutely. That is what Kira said, one of the reasons why I love it so much, because exactly that. You hesitate to redo furniture because first you have to strip it with a chemical. Then you have to take it outside to paint it and prime it with another paint or another primer that's filled with chemicals. All of this has nothing, nothing that can't stay in your home and be safe for your entire family. So that is a fabulous benefit to the Waverly Inspiration chalk paint. So really first, for anyone that's never used the chalk paint, I just want to show you guys how great the coverage is. A lot of times it's only one coat, sometimes two coats, but it's such a rich, creamy formula. The eight ounce bottle is what I'm using. 
and I love to just take the lid off and actually use the brush right out of the bottle. That way I'm not pouring any extra onto a plate and I'm using all of the paint rather than wasting it. So this is just a plastic frame that I found at the Goodwill and all I did was make sure, you know, it didn't have any stickers or dust. I just cleaned it with soap and water, made sure it was dry and look at the coverage that you get with just one coat on a slick plastic, almost trying to mimic wood with that really pretty mold pattern. Yeah, so plastic, wood, canvas, metal, glass, again, decorative purposes for glass. Right. Um, terracotta, now I would recommend or would say only use it for indoor projects. If you're going to go outdoor, you're going to need to put a sealer on it. So again, Folk Art has a lot of great sealers. So this is indoor only, unless you're going to seal it. We do have a wax, two different waxes that come in the line with Waverly Inspirations. We've got a clear and antique. So Kirsten's gonna hit on that also. So that just adds some added protection for um, a surface or a piece of decor that's gonna be more in a high traffic area or get used. Um, it adds just a really soft, subtle sheen. Again, it's non-toxic, made here in the USA, but it just adds a little layer of protection without really transforming the look. You still have that matte look. It'll just have a tiny, subtle sheen to it. Yep, so let me show you guys. I love to always have a reference when I'm at Walmart shopping. So <laughs> these are the two wax finishes that are available. Again, head to your Walmart or walmart.com and you can find a clear or an antique. They're both so unique and so there's so many possibilities. The antique is great for creating a really distressed, almost a stained finish on top of a color. Um, and the clear is exactly what Kira said. The clear is my favorite. All it does is protect and seal and just makes your project a little bit more durable and just gives it a really, really soft, soft satin finish. But the wax is wonderful and it comes in different sizes and the clear is great for any color and the, the antique is great to kind of distress and varnish um, with a brown stain feel over any of our colors. So these are the waxes that Kira mentioned, they're great. And you guys, I wanna show you this really quick just because Kira was mentioning all of the different surfaces one of the best things that we enjoy doing is old mason jars. This is a simple glass mason jar that we cleaned with soap and water, let dry, painted with one coat, and then when you sand it so quickly, it reveals any of the details in the glass, whether it be a vintage label, maybe the measuring sides, even the logo on a vintage jar. So it works perfect on glass, and this is just such a fun way to store craft items or even make a little vase for a home decor piece. But working on glass, wood, tin, there's so many possibilities. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to do is just show you guys just one simple coat and look at the beautiful coverage you get on a plastic frame that we got from the Goodwill. So that is one thing. And then what I wanna show you guys next is how easy it is to distress. So what I have done here, these are just little pieces of wood molding that I have base coated in our beautiful new color palette. And I've let that dry. This is Dusk, which is that beautiful light blue. And with medium grit sandpaper, I want to show you guys how quick and easy it is to sand and get a layered color. Kristen, you match the new colors. <laughs> I didn't even plan set. that, but someone <laughs> said that earlier today. I was like, oh, that's an accident, but it worked out well. So look, you guys, if you were sanding a normal lacquer paint or even a regular acrylic paint, it would take forever to reveal the color or the wood that's underneath. And you can see how we mentioned earlier, it sands quickly to a soft powder. And the more you sand it, see how quickly that revealed all the different layers of paint underneath, or it can reveal the raw wood or the varnished wood, whatever it was originally on your surface with just medium grit sandpaper. 
you get that beautiful distressed finish. Can you guys see that it just reveals so quickly and gives you so much character? Let me do another color. So this is another new color. This is sage, a beautiful gray with a little feel of green. Again, just medium grit sandpaper. And how quickly that reveals the, the raw wood. The raw wood was a little bit stained, but it was really old. So it, it had some areas that were darker and some areas that were lighter. But how quickly that sands off. The more that you sand, the more distress that you get. But it doesn't come off in chunks. It doesn't come off in peel. Some oil-based paints would come off in sheets, and it would almost create a really imperfect distressed finish. It would be awful. But the chalk paint sands perfectly. And then all you would do once you sand that is you would just wipe that down with a soft cloth or a paper towel. And you've just got that gorgeous distressed finish. And then that soft powder is so easy to clean up once you have sanded and got the distressed look that you want. So that is the first and the easiest way to distress using the Waverly Inspiration chalk paint. Let me show you this. This is really impactful. So this is using two of our new colors. Let me show you those colors right out of the bottle. So what I did on this piece of wood is first I painted it with this beautiful peach. This is pink cloud. In between coats, you want to make sure that you let it dry. So I painted it with that, and I let it dry completely. And then, doing nothing in between, I did my second coat with this other new beautiful color that is pink sky. We've got a pink cloud and a pink sky. Mm -hmm. That's why they work so beautifully together. They're like a sunset. Let that dry. Always let each coat dry, and always let it dry before you sand it. So, using a same medium grit sandpaper, I'm just going to fold that a little bit. I am just going to sand those two colors that are already perfect together and show you, Kira, this is the magic. So, if you were to layer two um, house paints or two um, maybe wall paint, even furniture paint that's not meant for distressing, even basic acrylics, when you sand it, you wouldn't necessarily get that layer of beautiful mm -hmm. color. But with the chalk paint, it allows you to remove the top color and reveal what's underneath. Yeah, you can really control it. You, you can control. totally control it. And the coverage, like that's something we haven't talked about. It is one coat. Now, one coat. If you're covering up something that's black with a white, you sure. may want to go back and do two, but you can really get, you've seen what Kirsten has done up there, like one coat. Is it, the coverage is amazing. You can get so much with an eight ounce bottle, with a 16 ounce bottle, you could paint the world. They're going to make fun of me in here. <laughs> I think you can paint the world. Um, but you can see the coverage is phenomenal. But what you can do with a simple piece of medium grit sandpaper is just amazing. You can keep it solid. You can distress it. The possibilities are endless. Okay, I do want to teach you guys a little bonus trick for anyone that's been distressing um, with Waverly Inspiration. So we love to do a different type of distressing. And that is with a simple scrap piece of wood. It can be small, it can be big, depending on what's comfortable, depending on maybe if you're doing furniture or if you're doing a picture frame. A very unique and fun way to distress with the Waverly Inspiration chalk paint is all I am going to do is I am going to pour out a little bit of this pink cloud, just a little. You're going to show them our secret. I know I am going to show them our secret. And Maybe I shouldn't. There were some questions about um, being able to find Waverly at Walmart. So Waverly Inspirations Chalk is thriving. It is active. And if this is not in your local store and you're not able to get it right now, definitely go to walmart.com because, again, we've got these beautiful new colors. We have the existing line. And we also have some really great sets on walmart.com. So we've put together palettes for you. So we've got beautiful blues and greens and neutrals and browns. So if you're not able to find in your store, check out walmart.com. 
Waverly.com and you can have it shipped right to you. So um, Waverly is here to stay right now. So Absolutely. we're very happy about that and to bring you new colors. Somebody was really excited that there's, you know, brand new colors to check out. So you have to get them all. The new colors are super exciting because yeah. they just coordinate with everything, all of, the, all of the latest trends. So our little secret, and this is for the person who's crafting and loves the distress look that we've been doing, but wants to just try something a little bit more. To get a heavier, more like weathered chipped paint that's peeled off um, years and years of time, this is a tip and a trick to get that look. So little piece of block, and it's, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be square. It doesn't have to be this size. It just needs to be smooth. You are going to dip that wooden block into the paint that you want the distressed color to be. And almost like a rubber stamp, you're going to stamp into the paint and then a little bit outside. You're going to have a good bit of paint on there, but not dripping off of the edge. And then the only secret is you want to work in kind of the natural line of your project. So this piece of molding, I would follow the natural line. If I was doing a frame, I would go around the natural line of the frame. If it's a big piece of furniture, you don't want to ever start in the middle. You want to kind of follow the natural curves of the lines, whether it's the details on the legs, maybe the edge of a drawer front. Drawer front. <laughs> um, but all you want to do is load the paint you don't want to mash down and you don't want to go in any pattern. You don't want to go back and forth or zigzagged or in a circular motion. You just want to lightly, barely pushing down, just skim that wood block onto your surface. Don't apply pressure. Remember, you can always add more, but you can't take it off without rebase coating. Oh my gosh, I just love, it's such a different look than sandpaper, but so, so popular with all of the, the farmhouse decor and the cottage decor, just that vintage distressed furniture and layered color. And you could layer multiple colors then. Absolutely. So you could add blue or white or black. Or Absolutely. Cream or gray on top of that also. So using that wooden block, you guys look at the difference. This is sanded, same two colors, and this is cheating with that little tip that we just taught you using a little scrap piece of wood to create just a heavier weathered look. But isn't that gorgeous what you can do and how different it looks? That's a great comparison. Okay. So, just a fun tip that we wanted to show you guys. So now, I want to just show you really quickly, as I move my dominoes. I need a bigger work area. <laughs> so, we went, we spend a lot of time here at the Goodwill because we find so many great things. So this is just the drawer of a really beautiful solid, if it's solid wood, we snatch it up a solid wood dresser that we found at the Goodwill. And I want to show you guys, it's not the favorite color for my home decor. It's just this really dark, you can see it's got kind of a heavy satin varnish. It's dinged up a little bit, there's some scratches, but overall in good shape. Something like this, you can change into anything. You can make it so beautiful with the Waverly Inspiration chalk paint. So all I did, remember Kira mentioned it, I don't have to strip this varnish. I don't have to remove, um, let's see if you guys can see that. Nope, it's too tall. I don't have to remove the satin finish. I don't have to sand it, strip the varnish, strip the stain. You can paint it exactly as it is. And you will get this beautiful modern, you can distress it a little bit to reveal the wood underneath but you get such a gorgeous, it just transforms the entire piece. This dresser back here, this blue, was the same, actually it was a little bit darker, a dark cherry finish that just really wasn't something that I would have in my home, but I made it beautiful with this Waverly Inspiration Blue. And you can see it just totally transforms your piece of furniture. So I wanna show you guys again the coverage, Kira mentioned it, and it is absolutely everything that she said that it is. So this is the new color Sage. And I'll be able to show you guys how great this Waverly brush is. So let's see, I think I'm going to do it, 
I think I'm going to show you guys this way, Kira. It's so big, and I want to make sure you guys see how great this brush works and the coverage. So, I made sure it wasn't sticky, made sure it wasn't dirty, but that's all I did to prime and prep this entire dresser. And you can see when you pick up the paint, I want to see if you guys can see that. I drip right into, or dip right into the bottle, and the way the bristles are designed, it holds so much paint. It's the perfect brush for large furniture pieces. It allows you, instead of just getting one stroke like you would with a traditional flat brush, it allows you to just keep painting all of these different areas because the brush is loaded with so much paint. But so there you, you can see the coverage that, Kira, you had mentioned. Yeah, and I was going to say, you can remove the hardware and replace it, or you could just paint over the hardware. And Absolutely. And so great about it being, you know, great for multiple surfaces, you can actually paint your hardware. I loved the detail in this hardware. I loved the plate that is against the wood. So that's why I wanted to keep that on there. But you guys can see just very little paint. And you get full coverage. And it dries so fast also. It dries so quick. So if you do need to go back, a lot of times our second coat is just kind of like a spot coat if we missed a spot. Yep, you're just um, touching we'll just up. We'll just kind of take a peek. And you know, it really does blend and level out. So you're not going to have light spots and dark spots. It's yep. all going to self-level and blend into itself. So it's going to give you that beautiful matte chalk finish. Absolutely. And I'm not sure if you guys could tell, but there was a few little scratches and just normal wear and tear on this drawer front. And you guys can see that that self-leveling that Kira mentioned, the paint almost eliminates all those imperfections. It almost fills in. The wood. in. Almost does, yeah. absolutely. So you would just let it dry. And Kira had mentioned it dries very, very quickly. And then once it's dry, you just have some fun and distress it, you know, to the desired effect that you like. I like a little bit of that wood coming through, a little bit of the gold from the plate. But you just get such a new modern look. It's or you don't need to distress it at all. Yeah. That blue one back there is just solid. So yep, if you just want that solid. beautiful, bold color or Absolutely. a pop of color, like say your living room, it's all neutrals and color is coming back. So yep. Yep. get that blue dresser in there. Get that blue end table. It's perfect. You can make it really modern and not distress it at all. That's absolutely yeah. true. All right. So you guys, this is one of my favorite types of surface to paint with the Waverly Inspiration chalk paint. So look at this. I'm going to start on this side for you guys to see. Look at this Goodwill find. This frame is absolutely beautiful. I think it's plastic. It is. It's like that plastic resin, um, but molded with those beautiful, beautiful details. So I want to show you guys again just how great the coverage is. So on something like this, I want my first color that's going to come through after I distress it to be this gorgeous gold. So I am going to use my favorite blue, and that is Night Sky. And I'm going to use that Waverly brush. And I'm just going to show you guys, one, because of the brush. The way the bristles hold the paint allows you to paint something with this much detail so much quicker and look at the coverage it would take two or three coats to get this kind of coverage with any other paint I love that color with the gold and see how this brush it allows you you're not really even having to pounce but the way the bristles are formed it's allowing you to get into all of those details Speaking of details, you can stencil with this also. So yes. if you're doing signs or you know, a personalized piece, you can actually use this paint to stencil with, which is great also. And you know, I think sometimes people think because it is home decor and it is for furniture, um, you wouldn't want to craft with it. But Kira, it is, it's a go-to paint for crafting. You had mentioned all the great unfinished wood surfaces that we have also at Walmart. But like we have cute little, let me show you guys this. We have cute little signs. We've got wood shapes. 
If you're painting a little craft item like this for your home and you've painted a dresser or you've got coordinating fabric, use the Waverly chalk paint on something like this. It's as wonderful and it, it's as good. It's not just for furniture. It's a, ba a basic craft paint that's great for home decor accessories. So definitely don't um, turn away from the Waverly Inspiration chalk paint for littler projects because it is perfect for unfinished wood as well. Okay, so I just want to show you guys one coat coverage. You can see how beautiful that blue is. There will be no need to do a second coat. And then I'm going to flip it over to the dry side. Don't forget, before you distress, you always want to make sure that your paint is completely dry. But it dries very quickly. Medium grit sandpaper. And I am just going to barely run that sandpaper over that gorgeous detail of that frame. And I know I mentioned it before, but I'm going to just keep mentioning it. If you tried to sand any other paint, it would take five times as long to remove any paint that's dry from your surface. But with this chalk paint and all the characteristics of it, you can just barely sand and reveal all of those beautiful details. And you would just sand that as much as you wanted to get the desired look, but it just gives you so many great options. Revealing some of that gold and just allowing that to come through. And it sands to a really fine powder that's easy to clean up. Oh, let's see if you guys can see that. This frame is so big. But see how it reveals the gold, makes it look distressed and weathered, but still that beautiful blue color instead of all of that gold. And then you could choose to wax it. You could leave it just as is, but just a great way to change up something that you found at the Goodwill. Do we have any more questions, Kira? Um, no, people are just asking where you can find the paint. So Waverly Inspirations Chalk is available at your local Walmart and walmart.com. So if you're not able to find it in your store or a certain color, definitely check out walmart.com. We also have some great kits that we've put together. So color palettes that make it really easy. We've got the brand new colors that Kirsten showed you. They all coordinate back to Waverly Inspirations fabric. Yep. We are so excited. It is great for home decor, for DIY. It is the perfect way to upcycle or buy a piece of furniture at Walmart or Walmart.com that's maybe plain white or plain brown or yep. black, and you can actually turn that into a beautiful, stunning DIY piece for your home. So, Kirsten, I want to let everybody know that we will be back tomorrow. We're going to be talking about glass etching and wood burning tomorrow. So, again, we are here again three more days this week talking about all the brand new products at Walmart and Walmart.com. So, absolutely check that out, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. So, thanks, thanks everybody. Everyone. Bye. Bye.